John, you're frozen again, I think. Pete, Pete, we can't. Pete, you're on mute. We can't hear you. Can't hear you. You know what? This is silly. We're all in the same room. Why are we still using the Zoom? You make a good point there, Pete. Uh, John, are you wearing pajama bottoms? Oh, oh, yeah. It's just that normally in Zoom meetings, um, you can't see the bottom half. I say it's a good job I remember. On Zoom, I don't actually wear it. Okay, Pete, I'm going to have to stop you there. Any smart trousers? I normally wear my swimming shorts. What was you thinking? Oh, you know what, guys? I'm going to really miss our Zoom chats. John, we can't see you. Hello, can you see me? You need to turn your camera on. Can you see me now? I can see James. Peter, are you also there? I'm here. I can hear you, but I can't see you, John. John, you, you need to press your camera button. Ah, oh. We can see you now, but I think you might be in Australia. Australia? You're upside down. Oh, today's a very exciting day. Yeah, I know. The vaccine started a few weeks back, didn't they? Death in Paradise returns. All right, Pete, have you got enough uh, toilet paper there? Uh, just being shopping, I had a special offer one. Um, I was on a bit of a roll, but I might got carried away, to be honest. How come you're wearing a mask, John? You're on your own. Well, well, something popped up on my screen saying it suspects my computer of having a virus, so I can't be too careful. <laughs> Last of the chocolates. Well done. James, what are you doing? One sec. You look very intense. Uh, what was the one sec? Uh, 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 you made me lose now. I was so close to finishing that level, I'm going to have to start again now. I'll tell you something. Pet Joe Wicks has got a lot to answer for. Whew. Right, I need to go. Where are you off to, Pete? To use some of that toilet paper. I think it's your banana bread. Oh, wait, too much information. <laughs> Only 30 seconds left of the year. It's been a strange old year, hasn't it? It most certainly has. Ah, oh, the countdown's about to start, right then? Pete, that's <laughs> is ready. 10, 9, Nine. Eight. 8, 7, Seven. Seven. 6, Six. Five. Five. 4, Four. Three. 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 2, two. One. 1, Happy New Year! Me too, although my eyes are starting to ache before the screen time. Me too. And you know, it is so nice to be able to see each other in person um, and to have a break from all that screen time all the time. Oh yeah, I agree. You know what, what are we going to do with this new fan freedom? You know, we could go and grab a coffee now or go for a walk. Oh, it does sound good. But you know, uh, I need to go and do some emails. Oh. Actually, I need to type something up. Oh, I suppose I'll do some computer editing then. Oh well, back to computers we go. Thank you guys for that great sketch. It's so good to see you back in the office again. Pete, is it is it good to be back? I said, Pete, is it good to be back in the office again? Oh, yeah, sorry. I was looking at my phone. I was missing my screen time. Tell you what, I'll put it down. There we are. Yes, it's great to be back. And it's great to be able to host with you again, in person. Yeah, such a delight. Um, Pete, have you eaten garlic today? Hmm. Yeah, sorry. Do you want some? Uh, um, no, I'll, I'll pass, thanks. Hmm. I'm missing the masks a bit, to be honest. 
Anyway, welcome back to our third virtual fulfill event. Yeah, it's great to have everyone watching tonight and we've got yet again another great action-packed filled evening full of competitions, music, sketches and hearing God's word. And Pete, can they win another exclusive BCM baseball cap? Yes, they can. <laughs> and if you like your hands on one of those money can't buy caps, then all you need to do is listen up. But not only can they win that cap, it's an even better prize to be won. That's it. Better than the BCM baseball cap? Yes. Two BCM baseball caps. Oh, okay. No, no, I joke. They can also win a £20 Amazon gift card. Yes, you heard that right. Okay, so how can they win the gift card and the baseball cap? Wow, they can win the baseball cap and the gift card. All they've got to do is keep their eyes glued to their screens as we go over to myself. John and James for another John, John versus, versus James. Thank you guys in the studio. Now Peter, what a handsome bloke. Everybody welcome to the second ever John versus James. Now who is going to be victorious and win this exclusive trophy? Is it going to be John or is it going to be James? It's going to be James. I don't know, fighting talk. Now everybody, at home, well, I'll tell you what the course is first of all. First of all, this is what I like to call the Summer Obstacle Course. And this ain't no summer loving. It's gonna be blood, sweat and tears. What we gotta do is, first of all, we gotta get to their die. We gotta roll an even number, like so. And then, we gotta knock down the skittles. It's not gonna be that easy. We gotta do it under their legs like this. We've got to knock down the skittles. Then we've got to get this beautifully made inflatable dog and we've got to humanely destroy it. We've got to get rid of a dog and then we've got to get one of these tennis balls. We've got to bounce it into a bucket like so. It's, I'm making it look harder than it actually is. We've got to get all four into a bucket. Then we've got to run over here. We've got to get a beach ball. We've got to inflate it. Then we've got to kick it around this course over here. Then we've got to get the milk and we've got to down it like this. No, I spilled a bit, I won't cry about it. I know what you're thinking. Doing this obstacle course, how dare he? But never mind, moving on. And they gotta get the tennis bat. They gotta get the ball, they gotta get it three times. And then they gotta go inside a paddling port of destiny. On one of those boards, there's their name, John or James, they gotta find it. Then they gotta run. And they gotta put their board inside of the bucket. And whoever does that the fastest is the winner. Now you lot are home. All you gotta do is say who you think is gonna win. Is it gonna be John or is it gonna be James? And all you gotta do is let us know in the comments for your chance to win this exclusive baseball cap. Who wouldn't want that? And also, you can win yourself a 20 pound Amazon gift voucher. Yes, I know what you're thinking. A 20 pound Amazon gift voucher. That is great. So, all you gotta do is say who's gonna win in the comments. Is it gonna be John or James? You got about 10 minutes to do so. But right now, back to the studio. See you soon. So all you have to do to be in for your chance to win the exclusive baseball cap and the £20 Amazon gift card is let us know in the chat who you think is going to win. Is it going to be John or is it going to be James? Who is it going to be? And everyone who gets the correct answer will go into a hat and will pick the winner at random. Details are flashing across your screen now. Oh, thank you. I can tell you, it was very fun to film. So as I said earlier, we have a great evening ahead of us. It's going to be full of music, sketches and God's word. And once again, after the event, there'll be questions that you can work through with your youth group if they are meeting after the session. Yeah, and if you're not linked with the youth group, but you would still like the questions, then you can download them from the link in the description. Indeed you can. Also tonight, we want it to be as interactive as possible. So please do use that chat feature. If you're watching with your youth group, why don't you let us know what church you're from? Also, let us know what you're enjoying about tonight's event. You can also share a video with your friends who might want to watch it. And once again, for your chance to win an exclusive Birmingham City Mission Baseball cap and a £20 Amazon gift card. Yes, that's right, a £20 Amazon gift card. And don't forget to enter tonight's competition. You have about another 10 minutes to enter. Yeah, that's great. 
And in a few moments time, we will have our first set from tonight's musical act, Faith Child. But before I do that, let's open the evening in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. Father, we thank you for the event. We thank you for allowing us to gather again online. And Father, we pray for each of the acts. We pray for everybody that's listening, that everybody will be blessed and that they will receive something from the event tonight. Father, we give the event to you and we say thank you. Amen. Amen. Pete, why on earth have you got a beach ball? Because lockdown has eased. I mean, it's summer. And summer means Cliff Richard and summer holidays. In fact, catch. That's better. We're not at the seaside. And who doesn't love the seaside? I mean, you have to have a beach ball when at the seaside. Hey, how on earth did you do that? Magic. Actually, uh, can I pull that, please? I actually kind of need it. Perfect, thank you. Go for it. Well done. And now, it's my great pleasure to welcome Mobo, a multi award winning rapper, TV presenter, and one of the UK's top contemporary Christian artists, the one and only Faith Child. And Faith Child, I've got a question. Who do you think is going to win the competition? Is it going to be John or is it going to be James? All right, Faith Child here. And who is going to win this race? Hmm. You know, James and John were amongst some of the two, well, amongst the three disciples that God loved the most. You know, John the Beloved. So I'm going to say John. I think John's going to win this race. Nevertheless, the song I'm about to perform today is called That Was Then. And that was then simply means he who is in Christ is a new creation. If you guys are ready, get up on your feet, turn up. This is That Was Then. Let's go. Hey. 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 Say. That was then. Hey. That was then. Hey. That was then. Hey. Let's go! Everything, everything, all he's making new. Everything, everything, everything. Everything, everything, all to still make some noise in houses. Back in the bang this year, back to a lapse on a track this year. Born and raised in a CR7, man a Christian like CR7. Watching up about 14 Heath, bus station was known for the beef. And the man them holding the heat was the only time they were holding the grease. That's over the peak. Now we got graduates, her managers, manager, managers. They could not damage us, no longer amateurs. Breaking them barriers, now we're your man. I'm standing up. We used to be off track, now we're getting on course. When you find it a catch up, do not forget your source. Good. Everything, everything, all he's making you. He's making you. He's making you. I wanna see you double like is that you? Yeah, that's me. Everything fresh, everything clean. I'm blessed up from the footwear to the head dot messed up. Now we gon' pass with the next spot. Hey, I ain't even trying to find a reason. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That was damn, but I'm back again on my way in. I'm doing better than I ever did. I got the blessings from the heaven set. It's time to get the popping. Now you never stop it. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Give me the beat, let me ride it. Give me the street, let me like it. Give me your feet, let me get lying, lying. I'm sure the young stars on the wrong path, but life is. You wanna be masculine? So the jump in the fashion thing. Designer brands don't make you a man. It just makes you a walking mannequin. There's more to life than future belts. There's more to life than Gucci girls. There's more to life than this more to life. Let me multiply your future wealth. Yeah. Regardless, like a past man, she could be better. I know it's hard to see your future when you only see error. Everything, everything old is making you. He's making you. I wanna see you double like, is that you? Yeah, that's me, everything fresh, everything clean. I'm blessed up from the footwear to the head top messed up. Now we gon' pop for the next buck. Go! I ain't even trying to find a reason, I'm just saying. Let me see you dancing. Turn up with me, let's go. I'm doing better than I ever did. Got the blessings from the heaven sent. It's time to get a puppy night, you never stop it. Woo! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Shit. Listen up. Hey, hey. Everything, everything, old. Born and raised in the CR7. When a Christian, last CR7. Everything, everything. Everything, everything, all he's making new. Designer brands don't make you a man, it just makes you a walking mannequin. Yeah. 
everything, everything. I was born and raised in a CR7. Man, a Christian like CR7. Everything, everything. Everything, everything. everything. All these make you new. Designer brands don't make you a man, it just makes you a walking mannequin. Cheer. That was, that was Den. I hope you guys are getting warmed up. The next song is called New Era. Who hell wants God to do something new in their lives? Now, I'm going to split your living room, the left side and the right side. Left side makes some noise. Right side makes some noise. All right, I like that. So left side, you're going to say, go tell that it's a new era. Right side, you're going to say, run that back, it's a new era. Left side, go tell that it's a new era. Right side, run that back, it's a new era. I want to see you guys turning up in your houses, having a fulfilled crazy party. This is New Era. Let's go. Cheer. Hey. Let's go. Cheer. Uh-huh. I feel like I have more money when I made less. I've been counting, doing the math to my counter. The money don't make sense. I see crazy figures that I spent on dinners. Can I get a witness? And everybody's trying to holler, trying to run up on a brother when they make a couple dollars off me. What are the benefits if you get everything and then you lose your soul? You can't take anything when they're burying you at the funeral. I want to do a better, gonna do a better, get locked together, follow to the letter. And I don't want to black out to the back, unless I wanted to snap back to a new era. Level up, we're about to take it and level up. Uh, yeah, in it to win it, no limits, you know that we're heading up. Blessings or blessings. Yeah, you know what we're getting from. Shit, by the boom, by the bang, it's a new era, new everything. Don't tell that it's a new era. Run that back, it's a new era. Go tell that it's a new era. Run that back, it's a new era. Go tell that it's a new era. Run that back, it's a new era. Shit, by the boom, by the bang, it's a new era, new everything. Never that, never that. We be moving forward, never back. Break the cycle, then we get on track. It's a new era, tell him that. Never that, never that. Doing better than we ever have. Never losing, televising the revolution. We are moving the level up. Pick up the mic and light it up. Lift up your hands and vibe with us. We got the light inside of us golden. You know we got the mildest touch. Ain't nobody who can do it like you do it. Do not believe till you humble start. Cause when you get a popping, many be knocking at your door, laughing off who you are. Level up, we're about to take it and level up. In it to win it, no limits, you know that we're heading up Blessings are blessings You know where we're getting from Shit, by the boom, by the bang It's a new era, new everything Go tell that it's a new era Run that back, it's a new era Go tell that it's a new era Run that back, it's a new era Go tell that it's a new era We're gonna turn up One, two, one, two, three, let's go Yeah. Woo-hoo. By the boom, by the bang, it's a new era, new everything. Go tell that it's a new era. Run that back, it's a new era. Go tell that it's a new era. Run that back, it's a new era. Go tell that it's a new era. Run that back, it's a new era. Yeah, by the boom, by the bang, it's a new era, new everything. I'm Faith Child. That was new era. And before I go, wait for it. You got a hand over the beach ball. Faith Child, God bless you. Thank you, Faith Child. And he will be back later on for some more music. But for now, we have asked some of you out there, what is your favorite ice cream? And here is what you said. Hey, what's up? I'm Faith Child, and my favorite ice cream is Hagen Dazs Strawberry Cheesecake. I know, I know. I know I'm gonna have some haters there, but hey, don't hate, appreciate. Try something new. I know some of you might enjoy that. Is it Napolitan, the one that's got chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry? That's for kids. Grow up, yeah, become an adult. I also like Baskin and Robbins. I also like uh, Ben and Jerry's. And Magnum have this amazing, I think it's like a triple caramel thing. Nevertheless, my favorite number one go-to ice cream will forever be haagen Strawberry Cheesecake. Our favorite ice cream is pistachio because it's so nutty and I love pistachios and it's green which is my one of my favorite colors. My favorite ice cream flavor is coconut because it reminds me of holiday and it's really refreshing. My favorite ice cream flavor is either haagen strawberry cheesecake or salty caramel. 
My favourite ice cream must have to be the Feast Original because it's just so many different layers of chocolate and I love chocolate. One. My favourite ice cream is Magnum chocolate because I love chocolate. Mwah. My favourite ice cream is Cadbury's crunchy sort of Magnum type thing. Um, crunch is the best chocolate bar so an ice cream that's crunchy is, is next level. So my favourite ice cream is chocolate almond. My, my favourite ice cream has to be mint chop chip. It's got mint and it's got chocolate and it's really nice. I like vanilla ice cream because it's clean and I can add loads of different toppings. I like vanilla ice cream because it's sweet, smooth and creamy and it complements all the desserts I like. In my mind, you can't beat a very creamy vanilla ice cream. Mmm. Mmm. This ice cream, it's delicious. Do you ever stop eating? Oh, don't worry. I've got you on as oh, well. Nice there we are. Cheers. You're so, welcome. Anytime. So what's your favourite then? Mmm. Well, it has to be cookie dough. Mm-hmm. Mm, cookie dough. Yeah, I mean, this is choice. nicer. That's a good choice. What about yours? Mmm. I'd probably say strawberry, to be fair. Mmm. Yeah. So whilst we finish these ice creams, let's head back over to the competition. Oh man, I've dropped it. Right, welcome back everybody. This is of course John versus James. Now John, are you feeling confident? You bet I am. Now James, you obviously won the first challenge last time, a pancake race. Do you think you got what it takes to become victorious twice in a row? Oh yes, it's going to be 2 nil. Fighting talk, James, no, John even. Do, do you want to try and win this victory so you can at least have one? Oh yes, oh I do. I'm going to get this one in the bag. I'm right up for this. Bring Fight, it on. Fighting talk to gentlemen, get your stations. And I'm going to do a countdown from five down to one. When I shout one, off you go. I should have bought a whistle, but I forgot. So everyone, let's go. Let's see who's going to win that brilliant trophy. So, and remember guys, you've got about five more seconds to say who you think is going to win. Is it going to be John or is it going to be James? Five, four, three, two, one, line to close. Please do not put any more things in the comments because you will not be accepted. Right then, we're going to start in five, four, three, two, one, go! So we're both rolling their die, and John's rolling even now, he's knocked down his skittles. Come on James, he's rolling even, he's going to skittle, he's knocked down two. Can he knock down? He's locked them all down. It's now time to get Kenny's balls into a bucket, can they do it? John's got two, John's got all three, John's got now, f no he's missed one. Come on James, you can do it, maybe not. Come on, John. John needs to go out one in. Can he do it? No, he can't. James, collect those balls. Come on. John's got him in and he's now he's been playing the beach ball. Come on, James. You know what? This is taking a long time. Let's speed things up a bit. So James now got that last one into a bowl. Now who's going to blow up the beach ball quickest? Who's got most hot air? Let's have a look. And they've both done it. John's kicking it round. John. John's doing a really great job of downing that milk. Come on, James, you can kick that beach ball around. John's now finished the milk. Can he find the ball? Can he do the ping pong? Yes, he can. Can he find his ball? Let's find out. Come on, James. Come on, you need to catch up. And John is victorious. And we have our winner. Going victorious, making it 1-1. Our winner is... Mr. John Platt! Everyone at home, give him a massive round of applause! James, he's, he's got temper there! 
Well done, John. You are a winner, James. Unfortunately, today you are a loser. They're doing their social distance fist pump <laughs> over there. Well done. So, everybody at home, if you did choose James to be your winner, you got no chance. But if you chose John today, what we'll do is get all the names, we put in the hat, and at random, we will choose our lucky winner. But for now, one more time, our victorious champion today is John. He's going to get this money can't buy. 50p trophy from Asda. Other shops are available. But for now, we're going to hand you back to the studio. See you later. Bye bye. Say goodbye, gentlemen. Bye. bye. Well done, John. And if you guess correctly, then your name will go into the hat. And the lucky winner of the BCM Youth Baseball Cap and the £20 Amazon yes. gift card voucher will be contacted. That's right. Because out there now, one lucky person will be the owner of that BCM Youth Baseball Cap and the £20 Amazon gift card. You lucky, lucky person. Right, tonight, yeah. I want you to clear your mind because I am now going to read your mind. Oh dear. I bet you was not expecting that I today. It certainly wasn't, no. Yeah, I think you should eat that tonight. That sounds quite nice too. Mm -hmm. Right, so what we're going to do is, as you know, Tonight's theme is all about destinations. And now you can go to places. I want you to start thinking about different places you can go and visit. Ooh. And I'm going to show you four cards with four different places on. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the cards. I'm going to put them down face down so you can't see which card is which. Yeah. And I want you to imagine the place you really want to go to. Okay. And then you're going to choose a number. And on the back of this card, I'm going to predict where you chose. So I'm going to show you four different cards now. Over here, we've got the Eiffel Tower. Ooh. Now, that's not in Blackpool, but that's in Paris. Oh, yeah, cheers, thanks for that. You're yeah. welcome. Bonjour. Merci. Here we are, put that down there. So, next up, we've got the Taj Mahal. Oh, lovely. There we are, put that one there. Next up, we've got the Great Wall of China. Ooh. Now, I've noticed you've got a Fitbit on, so uh, that'd yeah. be good, very good for your step count. Yeah, Other watches do exist. Yeah. yeah, you should do. And here we are, we've got the pyramids in Egypt. So, I'm going to mix them up a little bit. Okay. So, none of us know now. Which one is which? But I want you to, in your head, imagine which one you really want to go to. Okay. So, I'm going to, you cut four numbers over here. What I'm yeah. going to do is, I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put one into here. And like I say, we don't know which one is which, but we have got the four different ones. So you've got the Eiffel Tower. We have got the Great Wall of China. We've got the Taj Mahal. And we have got the other one. Which I always forget, the pyramids. Here we are. So we've got four different options here. And all you've got to do, you've got to choose which place you think you want to go to. So okay. over here, I've got a prediction card. Yep. But I'm not going to get that out yet. So you've got to choose between one, two, three, and four. Which one do you want? Um, two. Number two? Yeah. You sure don't want number one? No, number two. You definitely want number two? Definitely number two. Not number one? No, definitely number two. Number two? Yeah. Is that number three? No, definitely number two. Number two. Okay, so tonight, you could have gone for number one. I wish you went for number one, but you never. You could have gone for number three, but you never. You could have gone for number four, but you never. You went for number two. You sure you want number two, not I number do, one? Yeah. I okay. definitely want number two. So number two was the Taj Mahal. Now let's see. Yeah, that's the one I predicted. Yes, it is. Well done. I have read your mind. Well done. You certainly got me there. Well, we're now going to head over to your youth leaders to see what their ideal holiday place is. Um, I would like to go to Italy because I love pasta and pizza and all the history and the sunny weather. Well, um, now that lockdown is obviously easing, if I had to go anywhere in the world, I would definitely like to go to Arizona in the United States so I can visit the Grand Canyon National Park, which is such a beautiful nature reserve and I love nature. Okay, um, I would really love to go to Cyprus. I've got lots of happy memories there. 
and uh, the sun, the sand, I love the food. For me, if I would go anywhere in the world as lockdown eases, I think I would go on holiday to Spain maybe because I want to get those beaches, I want to go and just chill somewhere else. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of sick of seeing the four walls of my house and I've explored as much as Birmingham's parks as possible during lockdown so maybe I just want to go out and see something else. Um, yeah, just get on that plane. I'd really like to go visit Australia because I think the wildlife is really exciting. I would love to go to Australia because it's hot and sunny. The lockdown ends, I would like to go to Israel so I can see where Jesus walked. If I could go anywhere in the world, where would it be? I would have to say Canada, a lovely place. Uh, I've got uh, quite a lot of family in Canada. I've been there a few times uh, and I really enjoy um, going to Canada. I'd like to go on safari to South Africa to see lions and elephants in the wild. Now that the lockdown is eased, I would like to go to Montpellier, which is in the south of France, because we usually go there as a family, the whole family is there, and we have a very nice time together. It's very sunny there, there's a swimming pool, there's everything, and we have a very good time together as a family. I would like to go when the lockdown eased to Germany to see family because of a wedding which is ahead. And now that lockdown is easing, um, I think the place I'd like to go um, is Jamaica. Because I haven't seen my family for like over 20 years, so that would be um, very nice for me to just go and just chill out with them for a bit. So yeah, Jamaica. Bye now. They've said some great places. Indeed they have. Shame we can't really comment on any, since this sketch was filmed before that was all put together. Shh, John, they're not supposed to know that. Continuity. Yeah, it's a bit like your hair, isn't it, Pete? It's always different. Okay, okay, whatever. But it would be great now to go on holiday, wouldn't it? Let's go, shall we? You see, I'm really doing a roller coasters! Oh, oh. I need a sit back. Oh, let's get off. I don't want to sit all over me. Okay, let's move on. <sighs> oh, that's better. Back on the ground. You aren't a fan of roller coasters, are you, John? Well, well, James, I don't mind them, but I, I need to pack my anti-sickness tablets uh, just in case to make sure that, uh, you know, I have my sick back. You never know when you might need it. Bless you. As I said, I love roller coasters. And well, you know, as that great philosopher once said, life is a roller coaster. You just gotta ride it. You know what, Pete? You say it best when you say nothing at all. That's one for the adults. Okay, then, John, it's your turn to pick somewhere. <laughs> Why? Dean arm bangers, James. Well, no, but some scuba diving equipment or an oxygen tank would have been wise. Yeah. I say, have you heard about those new oxygen mints? They're yeah, breath of fresh air. Do they sell them in Asda? So what? The, the oxygen mints? No, John. They don't exist. It, it was Pete's bad joke. Now, here's a good joke. Do you want to hear the joke about sodium, bromine and oxygen? <laughs> now, nah, bro. Anyhow, moving on. John, I do love scuba diving. 
I mean, The Little Mermaid, it's one of my favourite films. But as James said, you could have warned us that we might be under the sea, you know, part of their world. I mean, it's nearly ruined my shirt. Right, James, your turn. Right. Where, where are we? It's, it's so, so hot, man. I, I'm baking. Is that, is, is, is that a lion? We are on safari! It's great, isn't it? Do you think you're mixing your cats up there, James? It's great! It's a tiger! What? Frosties! Mm, never mind. I might be vegetarian, but I don't think that lion is. Fine, let's go. <sighs> That's it. What is the lion's favourite food on safari tour? Bait beans. Oh, funny. I mean, James, The Lion King is one of my favourite films. But even so, I would have liked to, as Scar says, be prepared. Okay, well maybe a jeep and some tranquilizers would have helped. Yes. Well, I think, you know, that we should go somewhere for real. You know, I don't like it too hot though. But not too cold. But you go skiing, Pete. I know. Yes, mate. But how fast I go with cold is no problem. I mean, I do like culture, but not too much culture. Well, I like camping. I don't know. I find camping too intense. I'll find us somewhere good. Don't you worry. Guys, I've booked us all a trip to Barcelona. Amazing city. I mean, think of all the culture. Gaudi, an amazing football stadium. There's a guy's right up your street, of course. And you know, I've booked us onto a campsite with glamping. Oh, thanks, John, that sounds great. It does. The beach, here we come. We best start packing. Right then guys, do we have everything? Passport? Check. Check. Tickets? Check. Euros? Check. Check. Suntan cream? Check. Map? John. Google Maps. Clothes? Check. Uh, check. Face masks? Check. Oh, hashtag 2021 COVID, I forgot. Right, let's go. So sorry guys, I didn't realise there was a Barcelona in England. I thought it seemed really cheap. Oh, it's okay John, at least we're not in the office. Well, actually we are, it's all on green screen. James, you aren't supposed to tell people that. <clears throat> As we are now coming out of lockdown, places are starting to open up again. In the video earlier, we asked your youth leaders if they could go anywhere in the world right now, where would they go? As you saw from the places that we went, you need to make sure that you have the right equipment. And in John's case, the right destination. Have you ever thought about where you will be going? Not like on a holiday, but on your journey of life towards your ultimate destination. How do you get there? And are you ready for it? So thank you to the youth leaders who answered tonight's question. Now, I do love a British seaside, however, ooh, a little bit cold. I definitely need my jacket. Now, I know what some of you at home are thinking. It's another green screen, so why does he need a jacket? But if it was a green screen, would I be able to do this? Not bad, hey? I mean, I could have skimmed it a bit better, but yeah. So, in tonight's out of lockdown sketch, we talked about how to reach our ultimate destination. And now I'm going to hand it over to Claire for the first part of tonight's talk. And that talk might answer that question. 
because you see, that's what she specialises in, answering some of those big questions that people have. So it's my great pleasure to introduce Oxford graduate, youth worker and founder of Real Questions, it's Claire Williams. Right, I'm going to go for a dip in the sea. See you soon. Thanks Pete, I hope the water isn't too cold. Right guys, I'm off and I'm ready to go and record the talk for tonight, which is all about destination. What happens when two strangers meet and their paths collide? Well, we'll find out soon enough. So my favourite ice cream has to be cookie dough. It is the world's best flavour. If you don't like cookie dough ice cream, I'm not sure what the problem is. Um, and if I could go anywhere in the world, it would have to be St Lucia. It's a beautiful Caribbean island and it's where my mum is from. So tonight's talk is all about destination and we're going to be learning about the gospel. What does it mean and how does it affect our lives? Right, I better get off guys because I've got to get to the studio to catch this beach ball. Hi everyone, it's great to be with you today for this month's Fulfill Conference. So, for the next few moments, we're going to be thinking through some questions together. One, what is the gospel? And two, more importantly, why should we believe it? Let's think about the first question, what is the gospel? Now the word gospel is often termed as good news because it's the claim of Christians that God, in the person of Jesus Christ, stepped into our broken world to bring us back into relationship with God. Now that is a huge claim, one which many people are suspicious of or think isn't true. Because what makes Christianity any more or less true than other beliefs or worldviews? And even if it is true, why does it seem like God isn't needed to live a good and fulfilling life? So in essence, the so-called good news doesn't seem so good at all. Now, not too long ago in 2016, the actor Denzel Washington was asked by reporters his opinion on fake news. There had been rumours going around about his political leanings or, or something like that. And so the reporters wanted to hear a response from the man himself. Denzel's answer was a very profound one. He said, if you don't read the newspaper, you're uninformed. If you do read it, you're misinformed. What is the long-term effect of too much information? One of the effects is the need to be first, not even to be true anymore. We live in a society now where it's just first. Who cares? Get it out there. We don't care who it hurts. We don't care who we destroy. We don't care if it's true. Just say it, sell it. And this leads us to our second question. Why should we believe the gospel? It's no wonder that we've become suspicious of any news, seeing almost every news as fake news, because we're overwhelmed daily with news reports, global announcements and political updates, as well as our own filtered and faced app stories on TikTok or Instagram, stories which only last 24 hours and then they're gone. Like Denzel says, in a world of too much information, being first becomes a priority, never mind being true. And there's something about stories we post and share online, which betrays our need to be seen, to be heard and to feel loved. But if we can distort our own stories, knowing that we're using a flattering angle, we can crop, airbrush, cut and paste our own short-lived stories to make ourselves look and feel better, why should we believe God's story? What makes his so-called good news, the gospel, better or more trustworthy than others? Well, let's take a look at a chapter of God's story. If we rewind to the first century in the book of St. John, chapter 4, we see Jesus. He's walking, weary, and eventually stopping for a drink on his journey through a place called Samaria. We quickly learn that Samaria is an unusual place for Jesus, a Palestinian Jew, to stop and talk, let alone speak to a woman. This is because of an ongoing cultural and ethnic rivalry between the Jews and the Samaritans. And yet, Jesus disrupts these social norms and speaks to a woman, very unlikely in the patriarchal society of the time. So let's take a look at this encounter together. When a Samaritan woman came to draw water, Jesus said to her, will you give me a drink? His disciples had gone into the town to buy food. 
The Samaritan woman said to him, you are a Jew and I am a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? For Jews do not associate with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, if you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. Sir, the woman said, you have nothing to draw with and the well is deep. Where can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob who gave us the well and drank from it himself, as did also his sons and his livestock? Jesus answered, everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, sir, give me this water so that I won't get thirsty and have to keep coming here to draw water. Now, there are so many things to observe from this conversation between Jesus and this unnamed woman at the well. What I love most about it is the woman's questions. Not once, not even twice, but three times she asks Jesus questions. One, how can you ask me for a drink? Two, where can you get this living water? And three, are you greater than our father Jacob who gave us the well and drank from it himself, as did also his sons and his livestock? Why are these questions significant? Well, the woman's questions show us that she is thoughtful, curious, and intelligent. She is not naive and easily convinced by the seemingly crazy claims of a strange man from outside her own culture who says that he can give her living water and also that water will give her eternal life. Question one shows us that she is very aware of the cultural animosity between Jews and Samaritans. She knows how society works and she won't be caught off guard. Her second question shows intrigue. She's not entirely persuaded and she's quite aware of what is needed, the practical requirements to draw water from a well. And her last question shows that she has her own story, just like me and you. Her culture and the history of her people, her identity. And overall, this woman is not gullible. She is sharp, inquisitive, and she's in search of truth. Maybe when we think about Christians, we think of people who have blind faith. They've fallen for the fake news of the gospel and simply follow what they've been told all their lives. But in this passage of the Bible, and there are so many like it, we see Jesus welcoming questions. And that welcome is open to us today. You see, the invitation of the gospel is an invitation to love God with all your heart, with all of your soul, all of your mind, and with all of your strength. We can bring our questions, our stories, and our needs to Jesus. And the woman did just that. She brought her questions to Jesus, and he answered them with care and compassion, and most importantly, truth. We see this as their conversation continues. When Jesus asks her to call her husband, she admits that the man she is currently in relationship with isn't her husband. The uncomfortable truth is exposed. And yet Jesus, knowing that she had made many mistakes in her marriages before, still tells her about his father, the God who is looking for people to worship him, for people to be in relationship with him. Jesus offers her the living water of eternal life. You see, what she had been searching for in marriage after marriage or relationship after relationship was love and security only found in Jesus. She believed the good news about Jesus because he spoke the truth and he healed her pain. In fact, she was so excited that she went and told others about him. This is the good news. This is the gospel. It is the power of God to change our lives. And he does this by shining a sometimes uncomfortable truth upon all the brokenness or the sin we prefer to hide behind our social media stories. And yet, he forgives us and meets all of the deep needs of our hearts. 
So we'll be back shortly for part two of this talk. But now for the second part of Faith Child, let's enjoy some more music from him. Awesome. Thank you ever so much, Claire. And uh, as you're speaking, yes, our final destination is so important. And this song is called Tunnel Vision. It's all about tunnel vision on our, our faith and uh, things that matter the most. So let's, um, as we journey through life, make sure we really zero in on things that matter the most. It's easy to be distracted by friends and by the worries and, and the cares of life. But let's really focus on Christ, God, and that which he has in store for all of us. So... Hope you've got your dancing shoes on. This song is called Tunnel Vision. And when you hear the bass, I just want you to go crazy and let yourself loose. Let's go. Man, I love the way I'm living. No lie. The world trying to sway my decision. Oh my, it's cool. I ain't want to give in. Oh why, why? Because I got that tunnel vision. Bang. Because I got that tunnel vision. Uh-huh. I'm about to go ham. What's that? Holy as Mary. Take me off that pedestal. Please don't cheer me. I've only gone so far. Cause God is near me. He's a manual, he's automatic. He hears me. Never counted a million. My bank account isn't empty. I'm grateful my daddy blessed me. Bragging I ate my telly. Rapping on your telly. Rapping the one that sent me. It's like a Christmas drop to where the enemy wants to tell me. So I die to the flesh. Spirit can rise to the test. And the drug will overrule. He will rise to the test. Uh, it's far from easy, he gets me feeling hopeless. But God is Superman when I'm feeling lowest. He rolls from the brain, he's breathing. Show me the way he's leading. Broken, my chains got freedom. There's hope for today, so seek him. Prone to go on the street on even since God drove me away from Eden. But now that the Adam, everything is even. Man, I love the way I'm living. No lie, the world trying to sway my decision. Oh my, it's cool, I ain't want to give in. Oh why, why? Because I got that tunnel vision. Cause I got that tunnel vision Bounce Uh-huh They saw picture perfect from kiss Now they wanna pout I just kept my light lit So they wanna take me out For doing the Lord's bitch Got my hands on the plow I will never forfeit Like two couples work it out Work it out Woo! Heaven is my home, I'm soon to the song UK. Never walk alone, but you know I got that new spray. God is on the throne, set me free, make the screws break. Based on the true story, call me loose chains. Shining in the dirt, I'm a bright diamond. I'm a worker in the church, and I like tithing. I'm milking his rose to glorify him. I'm a barber's born again, my hairline won't be backsliding. The mic click dislike. Could they get used to music of this type? But I still make a man know God will take a brother from the gutter to make a man oh Man, I love the way I'm living. No lie. The world trying to sway my decision. Oh man, it's cool. I ain't want to give in. Oh why? Cause I got that tunnel vision. Cause I got that tunnel vision. Oh why? Cause I got that tunnel vision. Ah, uh, yeah. This next song is called Take Off. Now, everybody, hands like this. When you hear the chorus, we're having a drum and bassy one. I want you to point and jump and go crazy in your house. What are we taking off? We're taking off the limits. We're taking off every single thing that is holding us back from being the God version of ourselves. So this is Take Off. Let's go. Sit back, relax. If there's anything we can do to make your flight a little more enjoyable, please don't hesitate. Take off. I'm a musketeer, and my armor fits me kind of snug. You can watch it stare, or you can come and ride with us. Illuminating blind dudes with the crucifix in my view, cause I'm cross-eyed, like I'm talking but not looking at you. Ladies say I'm a handsome, it's too early to give a grandson to my mother. So I'm celibate, I'm on my Richard Branson. No, I'm not a nutter, I'm not a nutter of a conquer. I'm on this with Rachel, but every day I must conquer. I'm conquering all of my fears, escalating above all the stairs. Give me the rhythm, the kicking the snare. The limits I'm missing, I live in the air. The limits I'm missing. Oh yes, they're missing. They don't bother me now. They're so far behind me. Like I'm in front of the couch. Clap. Life is like at the end of the comfort zone. If the people don't believe you and leave you, they run alone. Hands up. Hands up. One, two, one, two, three, let's go. You'll be mad. 
You know that we take it around the globe From continent to continent With confidence we're top down and around the globe uh, No more slacking, got practice Get your back off the mattress Stop trying to evil, can evil The masses keep it organic uh, You know the struggle builds your muscle Focus on your hustle Make a river from a puzzle And when you solve the puzzle Keep it mellow, keep it humble Cause more than a couple will huddle Just to see you crumble Wow They want a piece of the pie They want to see me the evil is I Don't want to see them feeding the light You can achieve and reach for the sky Chase that dream and keep it alive. Uh, you can start again, rob but then harbor and dark event. See a nigga laugh, say, see a nigga laugh. Clap! Africans at the end of their comfort zone. If the people don't believe you and leave you, they're running alone. You know what to do. You know what to do. Let's go. Let's go. You'll be mad. Uh huh. Get ready for the take. Don't let the cynical belittle you Nothing is impossible, you can do what you're willing to You can, hey, belittle you You can, hey, hey, hey That's right Cynical belittle you You can do what you're willing to Belittle you Take off <laughs> That was take off who here wants the Lord to watch over their dreams, their families, their cares, and their affairs as they journey through life? I think that's all of us. So this song is called Over Me, and it simply says, I need you, I, I, I need you to watch over me, to watch over me. Your turn. I need you, I, I, I need you to, me, to, this is over me. Let's go. Uh-huh. Fulfill, let's go. They say no man is an island. So I'm ringing a Belfast Island. My problems are Dublin Island. I'm falling, catch me when I land. I'm slipping, need a sip and deliver water. Of grace as an ocean, I live on water. I want to see the king's gate go behind those bars. I want to go in, mate. And tell a man pen that. Lost stop with the chain, I'm dependent. I got a long contract. You know the enemies got to get conquered. Got to get watching my feet. My steps, when one is defeat, the arm to the neck, I'm far from a victim, far from a victim. Let me hear you clear. Hey, Check. There's, no time, there's no time to waste. It's not for your grace. It's not for your grace. I just and I just can't say, I just can't say. Check. In one, two, one, two, three, let's. And I need you uh, to watch over me. So, come on. I need you, uh, uh, to watch over me. Come on. So who much is given, much is expected. When you have a vision, you're bound to be tested. Friends go missing, my friends get tested. They want to visit when they see your blessings. See that as a lesson. I ain't trying to be on the track. You can take a two chains back. I see a couple of honeys before my bus. It will be like here before the line of cuss my hair. Deliver me, tick D. From the things that are killing me, six feet. They're trying to get at me, tweet, tweet. Lord, get in the back seat, beat, beat. As I walk through the valley, get a shadow of death. Lead the way, I'm a shadow of death. No time for image, no time for gimmicks. Ready to go, go, go. So let's get it, let's go. Hey. There's no time to waste. It's not for your grace. And I just couldn't say, I just couldn't say, hey. Let's feel. You know what to do. One, two, three. I need you. 
to watch over me. I need you to watch over me. So hell no, and heaven yeah, hell yeah, heaven knows, but it never let me go. He knows no defeat on beat like a metronome. You can't rain on my parade, the sun will appear no five a day. I got the light inside, I'ma let that shine, set the doors and lights in the fire blaze. Let's go! There's no time to waste, if not for your grace. And I just couldn't say, I just couldn't say, I just... I just couldn't say Everybody hands up, hands up, hands up One, two, three, let's go I need ya Two Watch over me In your houses And I need ya I, I, I need ya Two Two in your houses, I need you, ah, ah, I, I need you too. Keep going, keep going, I'm gonna clap. I need you, ah, ah, two, two, uh huh, uh huh, I need you, ah, ah, I, I need you to watch over me, to watch over me. Yes, fulfill. This next song is called Our Father, the Lord's Prayer in the form of rap. Let us go. Che. Hey. You guys are too young to know this song. I know James knows it. I know John knows it. I hope Claire knows it. Che. In your houses, let me hear you clap. That can account, that won't be done. On earth. Heaven. Heaven. As it is, heaven, heaven, uh-huh. uh. To the big man upstairs, your name is holy, no one compares. Uh, and I can come, and I will be done on earth like it is up there. Father, grant us the daily bread, and Father, pardon our wayward steps. As we forgive those who step on our toes, Father, erase our debts from the tempter. Show me the way of escape, the one to enter. Into venomous waste, be the center. For the rest of my days, Matthew 6 9, you said we should pray, pray, pray. So you should us the way, way, way. You said we should pray, uh huh. So I say it today, from the church to the synagogue, everybody sing along, way. Jack in the cup, that will be done. And I, heaven, heaven. Heaven. Let me hear you say it. Heaven, heaven. Lord God, we pray to you, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, and thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth. Heaven, 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 as it is. Heaven, heaven. There's no I in team, there's no we and me, but there's you and I in unity. You can be ivory or new beings. It don't matter in Christ, the new beings. It don't matter what shade you might be or what denomination you might be. As long as you and me can agree that the synergy of T really did rise on three. So Lord, bring down the walls, grant us grace to live in one accord and open eyes to see the vision. So we multiply, you don't see the vision. It's time to intercede for the nation that go to intervene legislation. Sound there, the sin is see a renaissance, a fresh start, dead past. I pray for the homeless living on the street. I pray for the homeless giving your peace. I pray the riots will cease from the church to the synagogue. Everybody sing along. Sing along with me. That can come, will done that will be done on ice as it is in heaven. Chef, give us a daily bread. Forgive our sins as we. Each one of those. One more time, let's go. Chef, that can come, that will be done. On earth, heaven, 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 as it is, heaven, heaven. Lord God, we pray to you, our Father, who art in heaven. And I can come and I will be done. On earth, heaven, 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 as it is, heaven, fulfill. Let me 
hear you clap. Lord God, we pray to you. I pray for every broken heart, every broken home, every weary soul, every person struggling with identity, with low self-esteem, with their mental health. May they find you. May they find your love. And may they find your peace. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And the church said, Amen. I believe we've all been called and chosen to do something special. And that special thing doesn't have to be something grand, something major on a major scale. But that special thing is to live out our chosen and, and our chosen and our ordained and our appointed mission, which is to be the hands and feet and the light of Jesus Christ on this earth. So if you are chosen, this song is for you. This is Chosen Ones. I'm fly like B.A., proud to be a Christian, born again, I'm B.A. Check it, the kingdom holds weight, so you know we rep it, you get it? The whole team spread the gospel around town, we go here, we're fishes of men, we go see inside. I'm after the fish, like, give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. Go save a soul, I'm into that. Go pay the old, no to the no cars, he play the role, no cinema, nah, to make us whole, no living life half. For the kingdom, we go hard, we eat the bar, no snickers in my hands up. Let me see you, put your hand. Hands up vertical, we're about to turn this into a convertible. Take the roof off, roof off. Hit one, two, one, two, three, let's go. Can you? Can you? So go ahead and throw somebody. Can you feel? Can you feel? Check. A little complicated, but live like we made it. So we gonna party, party like the chosen ones. It ain't complicated, we live like we made it. So we gonna party, party like the chosen If you are a chosen one, then make some noise. Hey, baseline, we're live and direct, FaceTime. Chosen chord, frozen pause, I get what you heard from the grapevine. What give them the time of day? Smart hate from a mile away, we ain't trying to play. Can I spit about Christ on the mic? Cool, he gave you that kind of faith. Hey, you get that? Forget that. I'm still rep for the king, not set back. It's not blessed when I'm in, accept that. You get that? Check that. Talk the talk, we're living it large. Walk the walk, living it. For the kingdom, we go hard. We eat the bar, no snickers and mars. Hands up. Let me see you put your hands up. Vertical. We're about to turn this building to a convertible. Take the roof off, roof off when you and your crew jump. Here we go. One, two, three, let's go. We're gonna party. Can you feel it? Check. So go ahead and tell somebody. Can you feel? Can you feel? And it complicated, we just like we made it. So we're gonna party. Party like the chosen ones. And it complicated, we just like we made it. So we're gonna party. Party like the chosen ones. I got a groove, I got a feeling. Taking me higher. Like a fire. Fire. I got a groove, I got a feeling Taking me higher Bones like a fire Check Fire in my bones, fire in my soul Give me that fire in my bones, fire in my soul Ignite the fire in my bones, fire in my soul Tonight, Lord, give me that fire Let's go Fire in my bones, fire in my soul Give me that Fire in my bones, fire in my soul. Ignite a fire in my bones, fire in my soul. Tonight, I wanna fire tonight. 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 Chosen ones, faith child, Claire. Back to you. Welcome back to our second talk. In our previous talk, we considered two questions. What is the gospel, the good news, and why should we believe it? Towards the end of that talk, we thought about a woman whose life changed because she met Jesus. 
In fact, her life changed so much that she went and told other people about him. And that's what we're focusing on for the next few moments. So if we know what the good news is, and we've decided to believe it, how can we share it with others? Some of us may be nervous to share our faith for a number of reasons. Maybe we're not sure how to answer tough questions. Maybe we're a little bit embarrassed about our faith. Or maybe we've had a bad experience in the past. Perhaps someone made fun of us for being a Christian. And now we've decided, nope, <laughs> never again. And these reasons are completely understandable. I've felt that way many times too. But I hope that this talk will give you some courage to try again. So how can we share our faith? Let's work through three ideas. One, be kind. Two, be prepared. And three, be real. So what do I mean by be kind? Sometimes when we're faced with a tough question about what we believe, we can feel threatened or backed into a corner. And this feeling may impact how we respond to a person who has a very different worldview to our own. Often, unintentionally, we can be harsh or blunt with our answer to a question. But the key to avoiding this is to remember this really helpful phrase, behind every question is a questioner. And this simply means that no matter how hostile a question may seem or sound, there is a person asking it. Let's believe the best about people. This person may be hurting, they may be disappointed with God, or genuinely intellectually curious about what we believe. For example, if someone asks, how can you be a Christian after COVID? Didn't your God allow so many people to suffer? A question like this sounds accusatory and demanding, but behind it, there could be the pain of a recently lost loved one. In response, we can make a disarming remark, something like, COVID has definitely been a tough time. I'm so sorry you feel this way. We can also ask clarifying questions before we give an answer. Questions like, what does being a Christian mean to you? How did God allow people to suffer? What should God have done? And what should God be like? You see, these clarifying questions will allow us to understand where the person is coming from. If a person says something like, well, God didn't do anything when my uncle was fighting to breathe in hospital. You can see that by listening carefully, this information shows that the person is asking about suffering from an existential or heart or pastoral perspective. They're asking the question, why? Because they feel personally hurt and helpless in the face of so much suffering. I'm sure we've all felt this way at some point too. Now, in contrast, if someone says there have been nearly 4 million deaths worldwide because of the coronavirus, if your God cared, he would have stopped this. But that's just the point. He doesn't care because he doesn't exist. And these comments show us that the person is asking about the logical problem of evil. Essentially, how can a good God exist if there's so much evil in the world? Whether existential or intellectual, both questions are valid. And we should be kind and gracious in our responses to both of them. On to point two, be prepared. Many of you listening will have sat exams at school or you may even be taking some now. And if that's you, I wish you all the very best. And so we know that when we have an exam, we should prepare for it by revising the topics which could come up on the paper. In fact, if someone told us the exact questions or topics on the paper, we would revise these and save ourselves a lot of time. If we're honest, many of us know the most popular topics which our non-Christian friends ask. Here are five big ones. If God is good, why is there suffering? Has science counseled God? Can we trust the Bible? Do all paths lead to God? And why does God care about my love life? I'm sure you can think of at least five more. But my point is this. If we know what the issues are, we can prepare for them in prayer, reading the Bible, in discussion with our youth groups, and by researching. Two great resources I'd recommend are a website called bethinking.org and a book called 10 Questions Every Teen Should Ask and Answer About Christianity. And that's by Rebecca McLaughlin. 
So to respond to a question about suffering, here are some helpful answers. Firstly, if God does not exist and our world came into existence by chance, then when we suffer, this is just the result of bad luck. The feeling we have that the suffering is wrong is undermined because if someone is sick or they're well, they're simply subject to the indifferent, mindless workings of our universe. But suffering does matter, and the pain we feel is real. And so perhaps this points us to the presence of God rather than away from him to a cold, cosmic absence. And check out John Lennox's short book called Where is God in the Coronavirus World for some more thoughts on this. Secondly, if one of the central claims of Christianity is that God loves us and wants us to be in relationship with him, then that relationship can't be forced. Imagine a bride who stands at the altar with a gun to her head and says, I do. But she can't really be in love because she's being coerced. She isn't making the marriage choice out of love. In the same way, one of the greatest gifts God has given us is free will. And with that gift comes the opportunity for people, just like you and me, to abuse their free will. This can result in moral evil, where people's selfish actions cause untold suffering and harm to others. And lastly, Christianity stands and falls upon whether Jesus died and rose again. So Jesus' crucifixion was the ultimate symbol of sacrificial love, where he died in our place for the forgiveness of our sins. But that process meant so much physical and mental pain for Jesus. And because he is God incarnate and stepped into human history, Jesus' entire life shows us that he knows what it is like to suffer. The God of the Bible is the one who has suffered alongside us. I can never get over St. Matthew chapter 14 and verse 12, where we read an account of Jesus and his reaction to hearing that John the Baptist had been killed. It says, as soon as Jesus heard the news, he left in a boat to a remote area to be alone. But the crowds heard where he was headed and followed on foot from many towns. Just like many of us have experienced, Jesus was grieving and he wanted to spend time alone. And to our last point, be real. When we become Christians, we're not perfect, but we're becoming more like Jesus a little bit each day. We're going to make mistakes. We're going to get things wrong. But if we decide to make a lifestyle out of doing all the things that the Bible teaches we shouldn't, our non-Christian friends are not going to take us seriously. People know when they see a hypocrite. And we can do so much damage to the hope-filled message of the gospel if we preach one thing and then we live another way. Be real with yourself, your family, your youth group, and most of all, be real with God. Thank you so much for listening to these talks. I hope you've heard something that will help and challenge your thinking. And if anyone wants to find out more about following Jesus, please speak to one of your youth leaders. Thank you, Claire, for providing such a great message. You really have given us a lot to think about. And thank you for Faith Child for providing excellent music. You really did good, didn't you? And I want to say a big thank you to John and to James for everything that they have done and for Sarita for putting up with me for yet another year. But one final massive thank you to you lot watching at home. We could not do it without you. And if you can please just spare two minutes to fill out a feedback form, that would be really helpful. The link is in the description. In a few minutes time, I'm gonna hand you out to Five Child for one final song. But for now, I'm gonna hand you over to the man with a plan. It's Mr. John Platt. But for me and Sharita, see you next time. God bless, good night, and goodbye. Over to John. Thank you, Pete, and thank you for all your hard work as well, Pete, to help make this important event happen. We are really hoping that our next event in November can be held back at Mount Zion. Do you remember that? We hope that there will be no restrictions that would prevent us from holding a gathered event on the 19th of November. But as we've all learned during this pandemic, if you try to predict anything, well, it's a mugs game. It's so best not to try. 
Anyway, that's the plan, and we will keep you updated via email and via our socials as well. And if it is at Mount Zion, then do pack the bus and bring as many people as you can to our first event back. Because one of the things that is hugely exciting is that we will be joined by another absolutely top guest, Governor B. Governor is, like Faith Child, a MOBO award-winning artist, among many other things. Many of you will be familiar with him, I'm sure. So Governor B will be at the November Fulfill, hopefully at Mount Zion, but if not, then on YouTube, which isn't bad either. So that's so exciting. And I can say that we will also have an absolutely quality second guest as well. More details to follow soon. So youth leaders, do give us your email address and follow our social media pages. That's for all of you to receive updates about the event and about other BCM youth team events also. So we'll look forward to seeing all of you in November. But for now, it's time for Faith Child's final set. All right, for Phil, thank you so much for having me. It has been such an amazing event. And to close us out, I'm going to perform my song called Creator of the World. And it simply means whatever you are facing in life, leave it at the feet of that which created you and I. This is Creator of the World. Yeah. Uh-huh. You are the creator of the world yes you are if you have a light on your phone in your house turn it on hey wave you see my weakness as a reason to love me in and out of season i can see that you got me and even when i'm feeling i'm believing my worries you remind me you're beside me through the good and the ugly all things work together in your will so I tell you to my soul, it's as well. I get a breath of heaven when I inhale. For Jesus and Nazareth is real. Uh, forever I'm standing in awe. You left a throne in heaven to banish the war between God and man. On the cross, you carried our flaws. Cause Christ is lamb, not sharing the law. And we were stationary in our misdemeanors. So Jesus, the ruler, was sent to meet us. You gave us a reason for living life. Now you got me singing like, let's go. You never change, and you remain the same. You reign in my life, my savior. You never change, and you remain the same. Hands up, wait. Yes, Lord. Uh huh. God, you're greater than the ups and downs. Romans 8, you give us grace to what we suffer now. I know it's hard to see the bigger picture, but it's written in the scripture that the glory is better than the current trial. Ah, uh, there's no burden you can't carry. And now I'm in your arms when I'm in the valley. I wonder whether it's stormy, make a life before me. Hide in my glory, your mind in the conquer the line is fighting it for me. Uh. Every now and then you do surprise me Come through for your boy when it looks unlikely A moment of clarity when it look icy When I'm walking through the valley and I you're beside me Yeah You take all my broken pieces Put me back together showing me what hope and peace is Jesus you gave me a reason for living life Now you got me singing like Fulfill You never change And you remain the same My saviour I'm grateful. You will never change. You will never change. You will remain the same. I'm grateful. You reign. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. Uh huh. Yeah. And my heart. No other name. No other name. No other name. Oh God, you reign. My heart will sing. No other name. No other name. Fulfill. One more time. Let's go. You never change. And you remain the same. I'm grateful. You never change. And you remain the same. Hands up, lights up. Let's go. We 
worship you, Lord. There's nobody like you. We love you. We need you. We want you. We trust you. Fulfill, it has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you ever so much. God bless you.